Hi everyone, this is Ram Krishna. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss episode 2017 partial differential equations. Question number 23 from Papa 2. And the question is the general solution of the partial differential equation y square p minus xy q is equal to x into z minus 2y with the usual notation is dash. And the four options are option number one pi of x minus y comma z minus y square is equal to zero. And option number two, pi of x square minus y square comma z minus y is equal to zero. Option number three, pi of x square plus y square comma z y minus y square is equal to zero. And option number four, pi of x square plus y square comma z y square minus y is equal to zero. So we have to choose one correct option from this four. And here the question is about uh, find the general solution of the given linear partial differential equation. So to solve this problem, we have a standard method that is uh, Lagrange's method. First, we have to recall that uh, Lagrange's method. So here we have uh, Lagrange's method uh, formula. So let us recall the general solution of the linear partial differential equation of the form capital P small p plus capital Q small q is equal to capital R is given by pi of u comma v is equal to zero. So this is the general solution of the given linear partial differential equation P P plus Q Q is equal to R and it is given by pi of u comma v is equal to zero where pi is an arbitrary function and here u of x comma y comma z is equal to c1 and v of x comma y comma z is equal to c2 are solutions of the equation dx by capital P plus dy by capital Q is equal to dz by capital R where p, q, r are functions of x, y and z and these equations dx by p is equal to dy by q is equal to dz by r are called Lagrange's auxiliary equations and here we have notations for small p is equal to dou z by dou x and small q is equal to dou z by dou y so this is the standard method that is uh, Lagrange's method now to solve the given problem we use this uh, method so coming to the solution of the problem a given equation is given equation is y square p minus x y q is equal to x into z minus 2 y that is the given different partial differential equation so for this uh, here we have capital p is equal to comparing this equation with uh, p p plus q q is equal to r your capital p is equal to y square and capital Q is equal to minus xy and capital R is equal to x into z minus 2y. Okay. Now, first we have to find the Lagrange's auxiliary equation for this given partial differential equation. So, therefore, the auxiliary equation means uh, the Lagrange's, Lagrange's auxiliary equation equations are given by dx by capital P means y square is equal to dy by capital Q means minus xy is equal to dz by r. r means x into z minus 2y. Okay, is it clear? Let it be question number 1. So, this is the Lagrange's auxiliary equation for the given partial differential equation. Now, we have to solve these uh, equations. So first we consider first two members of these equations that is x, dx by y square and dy by minus xy. So consider the first two members of the equation. Consider the first two equations or two members. Two members of the equations we have uh, first one is uh, dx by y square is equal to dy by minus x y so solving this we get uh, a solution for this equations here y y will be gets cancelled from this we get uh, dx by y is equal to dy by minus x okay so that implies 
x dx is equals to minus y dy on integrating on both sides we get integral x dx is equal to minus integral y dy so on integration we get this value is x square by 2 is equals to minus y square by 2 plus uh, some constant say small c1 by 2 on simplification we get uh, taking I'll get we get this is x square plus y square is equal to some constant say capital c1 so this is second equation x square plus y square is equal to c1 now from the last two equations we get from the last two members of the equations we have last two members means last two members means here we have last two members dy by minus xy is equal to dz by x into z minus 2y now considering these two equations of uh, the Lagrange's auxiliary equation we have minus dy by xy is equals to dz by x into z minus 2y so here xx will be gets cancelled on simplification we get this is minus dy by y is equal to dz by z minus 2y now by simplification we get this is minus dy into z means minus uh, z dy minus of minus plus 2y into dy is equal to y into dz okay is it clear now we will simplify this one so this can be written as so we have 2y dy is equal to taking minus z dy to right hand side we get this is z dy plus y dz okay so getting this equation we have y dz plus z dy is equal to 2y dy and this can be written as this is a derivative of z y is equal to 2y into dy now integrating on both sides we get derivative of uh, integration derivative of z y is equal to 2 times integral y into dy plus some constant say c2 okay so here integration derivative will be gets cancelled this is z y is equals to 2 into y square by 2 plus say some constant uh, small c2 so on simplification we get this is uh, 2 2 will be gets cancelled so z y minus y square is equals to constant uh, c2 so this is uh, another equation say 3 therefore the general solution is from 2 and 3 we have note that in first solving the two equations we got uh, solution as x square plus y square is equal to c1 so we can discard uh, these two options because here one solution is x minus y and here also x minus y but uh, by solving the first two equations we got first solution as x square plus y square is equal to c1 so from that we can discard these two options option number one and option number two are uh, wrong so remaining two options that is option number three or option number four is correct so let us see from two and three we get the general solution general solution is pi of first equation is x square plus y square and second one is z y minus y square so this is the required general solution and our option number three is correct therefore option three is correct so option number three is the correct answer is it clear i hope you like this video if you like the video please 
share subscribe and give your comments on this video thank you for watching